Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you how to prepare your colors and yarn for this project. Here is all my yarn. Um, mine is a couple of colors. However, this is basically it. I've went through the color palette and that's right here. It shows me exactly what color, what DMC thread and how many stitches. So what I would normally do is I take this to the store and I look for DMC thread, the embroidery thread. And then I'll look at that color and I'll take those colors to the yarn aisle and I'll match all my yarn as close as I can. And then put the embroidery thread back and you've got your balls of color. Here's what the stitch do looks like. It's black and white, unfortunately, but it is a stitch view. So if you look really closely, everything is a little square and it tells you exactly where to move, but it is just too small to look at. So that's why we have a written pattern. And with the written pattern, here it goes. Most, some of them say the dimensions. Um, the way to read this is that when you start at the top of the blanket, you're gonna use dark lavender on row one for 120. So what does that mean? That means that your foundation row has to be 120. Now, if you look at the other video, it shows how to create the foundation row. But today we're gonna to just look at some bobbins. Just choosing our colors, figuring out what we need, and then we're gonna wrap bobbins. So I have a bunch of these little cardboard bobbins and I've made a few of my colors here and I continue. I know that I definitely need one of every color, so I'm going to create that. And then as I go through the patterns, um, I notice where they divide and split up and then how many bobbins I'll really need. Now, looking at this photograph, but actually it's probably easier to just look at the actual blanket itself. That way the colors come out much better. So what we've basically done here is you've got purple, so that's one, a light purple, two, pink, light purple, dark purple, light purple, white, light purple, bright blue, gold, turquoise blue, dark turquoise, another purple. What we would make bobbins for is you would take, you would make a purple bobbin, one, you would make a blue, sorry, a light purple, you would make one for the pink, you'd make one for the purple, another one for the dark purple, another one for the light purple, white, light purple, blue, gold, light blue, turquoise, purple. So you would make a bobbin for each of those colors. One, two, three, four light purple is what you're going to need. Now in more complicated, it gets more variety of colors and bobbins that you have to create. I've had up to 40, which is pretty heavy, but 20 is about normal, I would say. And so then when you get up here, you'll see that you don't use as much of the light purple here. So so I'm going to show you how you determine what bobbins you need for your project. When you look at the pattern image, you'll need one purple, one light purple, one white, one light purple, one white, and that goes all the way to the end. Now when you get up here, you're going to need the white, then you're going to need a light purple, a blue, another light purple, because there's two stitches in between. If you have one, you can probably carry, but uh, if you really wanna be specific, I used just the one of the purple. I really want it to be intricate. So then you've got white bobbin, you have a blue one, you have a green one. Basically, as you walk across, you need one for every stage, okay? I don't want you carrying the images, sorry, the yarn strands. So if, for example, you're up at the top and you're still wondering, like, how do you count color? You got to look at it like one dark purple, one light, one white, one black, one blue, one white, one black, one white, one pink, one white, one blue, one blue, 
one blue, one gold, one turquoise, and another purple. So you have to go that. But what, what happens when you wrap all your bobbins together is if you wrap the right amount, you start on the turquoise all the way down here, and it runs all the way up to the top. So if you have enough on there, there's just one bobbin. Same with the blue. I had the blue wrap all the way down. One bobbin stretches all of this. One bobbin stretches all of this. So it's not that bad once you put all your bobbins on. Now take those skills that you learned and go try one out. Use half double crochet and change in the colors. You can see in the other videos. Subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Thanks guys.